Lex Vezo. What's the word, YouTube? This is Lex Faye back again with another video for you guys. Today, I am going to go ahead and do a wet look. Um, I'm going out tonight, and I kind of just want to like have my hair extremely manageable when it's really big and out it gets really frizzy and it never stays because it's so humid where i'm at usually when i do the wet look i use my favorite gel which is extreme line gel um you can get it at any target any walmart for less than five dollars and um i always use that because it always keeps my hair where it needs to be but today i decided to try something new something that i have been seeing on youtube a lot lately and that would have to be luster's s curl i've been seeing a lot of natural girls use this to see if their wet look would be achieved with this and they have been getting good results now i haven't seen anyone with the same curl pattern as me because my curl pattern is kind of weird some days it's like a type four some days it's a type three some days it's a two some days it's just not curling i don't understand some it just depends what my mood is my hair is like moody just like me i will only be using this i might use a little bit of oil and maybe like a leave-in conditioner but mainly just using this and we're gonna see how it does i really hope it doesn't like i just hope it works because i'm gonna be testing this and then i'm gonna be going out with this product in my hair and one thing i love about the gel i use already is that it keeps my hair looking like it's still wet from what i've seen on youtube the women that have been using the s curl their hair still look pretty wet even though it was dry so fingers crossed that this will still make my hair look wet i love when my hair looks wet for my wet look because that's what we're trying to achieve so I'm going to go ahead and get into the shower and wash my hair and get myself together. And then I'm going to come back and we are going to get started. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all. So I'm out of the shower and my hair is still kind of wet. I left my spray bottle. I can't find my spray bottle. So I have to move fast because my hair dries kind of fast. So let's just get into the process. Whew. All right, let's go. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't. I don't think it's really gonna work for my hair. My hair is super thick, but for my edges, I'm just gonna use got to be glued. Um, I'm gonna use got to be glued um, styling gel for my edges because this gel, I don't. I don't really suggest it for edges, but I like my edges to stay. My edges move. They they like to fly away and do their own little thing. So with this got to be gel, with this got to be baby hairs don't move edges don't move it's kind of reminds me of like the edge control that's been like really popping now that you can run your finger across once it dries and it doesn't move so it kind of reminds me of that but it's a gel so i'm just gonna go ahead and lay down my edges Let 
put it down that right there because that's an eddy but it just it just does its own thing so i just i swoop it because like eddies are so not i'm not gonna say they're ugly because some people embrace their eddies but i don't like my eddy and um a lot of people don't like their eddies because and i know some people with eddies that's like yield signs like mine's really really small but i know some people with some big ass yield signs i mean big <laughs> some big um some big um some big eddies so no offense or anything. I don't mean, I, you know, some of y'all do got some big old eddies, which is okay. You know, if you know how to rock it, rock it, sis. But see, I don't. So I just swoop it like a, like a baby hair. Because I'm not a fan. If you've watched my video before um, of how I achieved my wet look, then um, you'll know that once I let it, while I let it dry, I go ahead and put the back into a ponytail. Now, I don't, I don't, um, I only wrap it once like this for... Just to hold it together. Oops, I missed a piece of hair. I missed a piece of hair, y'all. Boom. Just to hold it together while it dries. So I just do this so it'll it won't like really puff out. It'll still stay together and uniform while I'm sitting under a dryer. Because you know, with the wet look, I usually let it dry on its own. But since this is a new um, gel that I'm using I'm gonna let it dry for a minute just to make sure this is something that I can wear out and it doesn't really mess up my hair so yeah like I said I used the whole bottle I used the whole bottle I should have bought two but I thought this was plenty so um but like I said I've never tried it before so this is my first time and um so I'll be back later to show you guys the final look I just wanted to come and let y'all know that I had to change my shirt because the product is so sticky it messed up my shirt my if you can you can kind of tell it's dripping it's dripping and everything it's more of a looser gel it's like water based or something and I'm not really a fan of that because I like mine to be thick and so um I'm starting to think that this might not have been a good idea to do before going out but you know what I'm gonna thug it out because it don't look bad in the ponytail right now but I'm not trying to wear this ponytail but I'm gonna come back on camera when it's fully dry so y'all can see exactly what it looks like like I said, I'm super nervous to see what it looks like, but hopefully it turns out. I just, I just don't know. So we'll see. Good morning. Um, my allergies have just been really, really, really messed up since I got back to St. Louis, but I'm making it work. Um, but it actually took my hair longer than expected to dry. It never really dried. Every shirt I put on, it got super wet. <laughs> And um, I'm not even used to have a regular gel, so it's just like, I don't know. But um, so since it wasn't dry and I was tired and I was ready to go to bed, I just put a bonnet on. And um, honestly, from what I feel in the bonnet, I don't think this is what I'm going to want. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, let me see. Let me just tuck it real quick. There we go. We can tuck it. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this exposure real quick because it's too bright. Let's just go to auto. Okay. My mama being gal and loud, so I'm sorry. Like, ugh, I'm just getting annoyed. So, um, as you can see, um, the Luster's S Curl did not work for my hair. Now, I ain't gonna lie, in all the videos that I have seen prior, they used either another gel with it, so they didn't just use it by itself. But I wanted to see how it would work by itself. And um, it just looks like I washed it and put something in it and just kind of went on with our day. Like this part right here is what's really tearing me up because it's like, how? How are you sitting up like that? How? But um, so, yeah, I'm just going to take accountability for this one because. Like I said, I didn't use any other gel, and all the ladies that I watched on, um, all the ladies that I watched on YouTube, uh, they did probably use another gel, so, um, that probably was kind of like the last step, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to see what it would do on my hair just by itself, and I can't, like, how are you still sitting up? Like, it's no, it's no... There's no reason to. And my hair is still wet and my fingers feel so nasty. So I'm not a fan of that at all. 
I might try it again with the gel. Just depends how I'm feeling because I was just super, super disappointed. Because, like, you know, like I said, I had to go somewhere. I wore my hair like this the whole time. But all right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Um, I ain't got no outro. So, you know, see y'all later. It's the best I can do. <laughs>